Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome all back to some rebuff and today By the way, it feels really good to see those six hard mode completions on Isaac. I feel I feel like a rebuffed man. That sounds really weird actually like I've fallen out of some giant We're not gonna finish that thought. What I'm gonna do today is actually have a few attempts at the lost now uh, curse of the lost. That's about right, isn't it, actually? I think that is genuinely about right for what we're doing. But yeah, I'm feeling, I guess, a little bit masochistic. But at the same time, I don't know. I've just got a good feeling. And I think when you've got a good feeling, you just got to, got to, got to, got to go with it and see what you can achieve. I think that is, that is the way of the world. So we're going to have... We're going to have a few bashes at the loss, which also sounds a little bit weird, honestly, but that's really okay. We've got our item room, and clearly the contents of the item room are going to be so magnificently powerful that we're basically just going to ruffle stomp our way to the lamb. That's, you know, that's what I'm calling. In reality, it's going to be something like the poop, isn't it? It's just... It totally is. Also, I've hit that thing so many times! My word! Are you going to... You're just gonna, okay, like, yep, that's, yep, okay, you're dead. Key, lovely. Look down, that's a shame, man. Ah, uh, you really, really, that, oh, look at me, I'm so happy. Oh, okay, that's actually a really good sign. I don't even care that Pyromaniac is literally useless. Well, actually, actually, is Pyromaniac useless on the Lost? It technically makes me immune to explosions, right? Because while they don't heal me, it now means that they can't kill me, and a lot of things do explosive-based stuff, so I guess there's technically a lot worse items you could get, and obviously plus five bombs is kind of nice, so I think this is better than it originally looked, because immunity to explosive deaths are often quite, you know, useful. I wish... I wish I was immune to explosions in real life. Though really, what would being immune to explosions in real life do for you? Because, I mean, you'd, what, walk into buildings that were about to explode? Like, what would that achieve? I mean, yeah, cool, you stood there. But while you might be immune to the, oh my god, leg day, leg day, leg day spider doing its leg day things, it needs to die. Oh, that was a little bit touch and go there for a second, wasn't it? I basically hugged it on the way past. And believe me, guys, don't hug people on the way past. I mean, even if you know them, it's still a little bit weird. But yeah, even if you're immune to the actual fiery explosion, the shrapnel, the building collapse, you'd probably still die anyway, and you wouldn't even achieve anything. It's actually a really lame superpower. I mean, I guess you could go into battle with a rocket launcher and not care about what happens to you, but even then, there's plenty of other things in a battle that would kill you, so I think as far as useless superpowers go that initially sound awesome, immunity to explosions is definitely one. So that's uh, some food for thought, everybody, and that's the best kind of food there is. These guys are going to take some killing, but fortunately I do have the power of flight, because I actually think not taking damage in this room would be quite tricky without the power of flight. Which, yeah, how would you do this room normally? I guess you'd have to just dodge and run and hope they all went in the same direction, but it still seems a little bit iffy. Are we gonna... Can I please, like, are you just gonna wander, or... Can, can I just... Oh my god, that freaked me out a little bit. I'll admit, that freaked me out a little bit. There we go, another key. I will claim you. Oh, are we ever gonna, like, get to the boss here, or are we just going to... Not do that. I guess not do that is the operative word. Oh, okay. That was um. Did just me, or is this thing being as like erratic as like what is that? Stop! What are you doing, pig fly? Come, come, please. That was a little bit intense. And can I ask where the boss room is? Like that would. That would be lovely. I'm not randomly on an XL floor, because that would be too convenient. XL floors are fantastic for old Losty Boy. Okay, alright, we've finally found the boss room in time to be attacked by some flaming morons. All of them are on fire now. Actually, and there it is. Yeah, that was... That was very unfortunate, honestly. They are so much harder to deal with when they get set on fire that I just... 
I don't really know what I was expecting would happen. Also, I feel like this room nearly killed me there. I've got it under control now, but it very nearly got me. So you just gotta pick yourself up, dust yourself off on the Lost, and it's fine. The only time dying on the Lost is truly awful is if you die on something like the heart, like just shy of an unlock, which I have done. Or if you die in a particularly powerful run because you're stupid. That's kind of, you know, that's got a sting to it if you have the opportunity to go all the way and you kind of mess it up. Do I want to go for the boss straight away or do I want to, no, I guess I should get the item. There's no real need not to. And I also really want to open these chests. Tinted rock there, kind of pointless for the loss to even bother claiming. And another chest. This is quite the flaw. Okay, these things, you know, generally speaking, a lot easier when they're not on fire. It's, it, it is weird to me that being set on fire apparently makes you stronger. I wouldn't recommend that translate into real life and, you know, don't, don't go setting yourself on fire for superpowers is basically what I'm suggesting here. Should I go into the shop or should I open a gold chest? I actually don't know which one of those is potentially correct. Some innocents to slaughter. That is a good sign, if ever I did see a sign. Alright, item room. What do you got for me? Are you going to excite, or are you going to depress? That's potentially really useful on the Lost right? but at the same time, it's potentially horrific. Later on, it will be kind of useful to reroll lumps and the like, but that's assuming I get to lumps. If I get to lumps, then, you know, obviously I've done a pretty good job, because I'm in the womb, which means beating mother, which, you know, I've only managed to pull off the one time. So we'll go in the shop and get the sharp plug, which charges when I take damage, doesn't it? So I thought that was a different item. That's kind of my bad there. Ooh, lust. Potentially this could drop something good. Oh my word. Okay then. Just calm. Calm, lust. Alright, calm. I know you want me. Okay. I know the lust is very sexy, but you just can't today. Alright, you just can't. We're not in that kind of mood. Speed down. Oh, that is excellent. That is really excellent because I did, you know, not want the ability to dodge. Was there a key in the shop? I actually can you remember because it's probably worth going to open a chest and there was not i wish you could reroll bosses into normal enemies in fact that would probably make this item the powerfulest in the game actually wouldn't it because you could just ruffle stomp every boss going the duke of flies not someone i am too concerned with facing although these damn stuck together flies panic me a little because when they explode they obviously really really explode outwards. I actually really need to clear some flyage right here. Um, Duke, can I ask what is with this ridiculous volume of flies? Y what was that? What was that? How was I- what? Is it just me? Or was that- like, was, that was a champion at- w that fly volume is insane! How would you avoid taking damage on that fight? Being Neo, not everybody is Neo! Like, I'm sorry, but not everyone is the chosen one and saviour of people. Like, they're just not. I mean, I feel like I probably could have done it, but it seemed inordinately difficult, did that? It really did. Either way, you just gotta hammer away until you get a good run. And that's really the essence of The Lost. It's a true test of ultimate patience, I think, is the key. Okay, item room this time. Third time lucky. I believe in your power. I didn't want to go backwards because of the spike, and then I just, by the time I'd had the thought process, I'm not going backwards because there's a spike there, I was already dead. God damn the lost and your unforgiving nature, you really, really make things difficult, and damn you flaming jumper for being so aggressive. Got out the fire before the others could convert to their flaming alter egos. The only thing that really annoys me about dying there, it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things because, obviously, you know, it was early on in the run, whoop de doo we died! God damn it! Again, the thing that I was trying to talk about, ah, uh, is that it's really frustrating not knowing what item I could have had because it could have made all the difference. Though I am kind of sick of getting particularly difficult rooms to deal with after lost. Oh, that is useful. That's very useful. 
but yeah, it is kind of frustrating me that I'm getting insane leak, like, just clusterfuck rooms of loads of stuff going on and you can't really dodge anywhere that safely and both of them committed suicide for me, which I think is really, really good. We want to kill him as quickly as possible, work on this guy. See, this is fine, but imagine if there was, like, eight zombies in this room, like, the dodging skill level you would require is, again, Neo level. Alright, let's kill these fires. I have lost count of the number of times bloody red fire has killed me as the lost. Because I just don't notice it's shot. It's like I'm blind to it. I am going to death, those leg day spiders. I'm not even going to bother trying to deal with that. Ooh, we have found the boss, which is convenient, though not the item room. I guess it's off the big room, which I was hoping it wouldn't be because, you know, it means doing a big room. And as we all know, the bigger something is, the harder it is. <laughs> yeah, but like, seriously though, I'm an adult. Okay, so I'm going to assume that the secret room is there, but I can't access it because I lack the bomb power. As well as all these tinted, it's like the game loves showering me with tinted rocks when it knows that it really doesn't matter at all. Kind of upset that I'm not- OH MY GOD! LEG DAY SPIDERS! EVERY TIME! Oh, fuck you, Curse of the Maze. I'm- I'm just not- I'm not dealing with Curse of the Maze. It's- I can't- I can't deal, guys. I just- I cannot. Oh, good! This room again. Alright, I'm gonna- Actually, that was pretty easy that time. My first death was probably just a little bit retarded. I just wanna get somewhere, you know? I just wanna get somewhere. And knowing that I can do it without defensive items, that I have managed it, makes it so extra frustrating when stuff like this happens, because I know I can get into the zone, I know I can make it happen. To be fair though, I've only made it happen while not recording, which, you know, is, you know, that makes perfect sense, because recording obviously takes some concentration away, because I'm talking to you lovely folk watching this. So it's just kind of, uh, I don't know, I just, I want... I want to achieve greatness, but it's just, it's being stripped from my grasp. To be fair, there's only three ways to really do well as the Lost. It's either restart constantly till you get a dynamite first item room, like Holy Mantle level, or it is just go with whatever happens and hope that you get powerful, or it is get extremely lucky and reach the point where you can just instantly one-shot everything and you win by stupid offense. Which, to be fair, is entirely viable that could happen. I'm worried he's going to come out the corner there, yes. That entirely could happen. Like, for example, if you beat... In fact, no, if, say you walk into a curse room and you instantly get nine lives and then say you beat the second boss, you know, you dodge and weave, dodge and weave, beat the second boss, go into the devil room and you instantly get, say, the pact and mum's knife and then you find quad shot in an item room and you just walk into a room and blitz the entire place with the few defenses that you have. Something like that, I mean, you just... It would be hard to lose, but any normal level of power run that you can kind of make work on any other character because you can take the odd hit from a fuck up just doesn't cut it as the lost. You need to achieve godlike overpoweredness. So I can completely understand people who restart consistently to get a good starting item because it kind of gets to the point where you feel like you're wasting your time playing if you don't get a good starting item but for me personally i'm not good enough at the game because i've simply not played enough i mean there's people with already hundreds upon hundreds of hours into rebirth and they are obviously much better at the game than me they've played a lot more that's you know how that works and they're going to be much better on the fly knowing exactly how every enemy works dealing with things not falling for silly shit like walking in fires or panicking at a room full of jumping flaming guys and i think i just I just gotta reach that point, and it is useful just playing the Lost a lot. That's kind of convenient. It's just useful playing the Lost a lot, so I get better at the game, because what better training is there than one hit and you dead dog? So, do I bother going? I think I bother going in this room, mainly because I do have Mini Brim to do some damage for me, and it does get us a key. So, assuming we get past the first boss, is this going to be the first boss we get past of the of the video? I feel like it is, which is probably wrong. But yeah, I'm basically using the Lost as kind of like hardcore training because that's what I that's what I see it as. I think that makes I think that makes sense because I would very much like Pin to pop up into his. Yep, there it is. 
Oh, that was actually heading towards me. Like, that was very accurate. Pin, I swear, is not normally that accurate. But either way, we should be able to take him out quite nicely, and we get a box of stuff, which isn't ideal. Wow, okay. Really trying to, trying to test my reaction time. That is, um... That is lovely. We will use that. Pheromones, that could have been useful, actually. Justice, uh, we'll use Justice on the next floor, just in case it gives me something I could use. I don't think so. I know it gives HP, but obviously that's, you know, irrelevant to me. Yeah, okay, so we can just grab everything. So let's, well, I kind of got to go in here in case there's red chests, and there is not. But a gold chest is worth thinking about, actually. Like, it really really is. Having a brimstone laser is obviously very useful. Being able to instantly clear the main threats of a room without too much trouble and from a safe distance is very much key here. I want to find the item room as soon as possible because I... Oh my god! Please explode! I couldn't go anywhere. There was nowhere I could run to. That either killed me or it didn't, which, you know, sounds, you know, well, everything either kills you or it doesn't, man. Like, what, what are you talking about? So, the Bible. That's, I mean, assuming I get to mother, that's probably one of the best items to have, because not having to fight the heart or the mum fight, which has a lot of random little damage that could affect you, is a real advantage. But of course, this means I have to get to one of those fights, so really it doesn't do much for me in the meantime, especially as I already have flight, but I definitely think that was worth having in terms of just an item in general. I, well, is there anything in fires that could help me out apart from money? And I kind of have enough money. Why was the Bible cheaper, actually? Do I have reduction? Is it because I've got a wealth of wealth? Is it another side effect? Come on! That's, I mean, not ideal, is it? There could be definitely better items. I don't think there's any point pointlessly putting me at risk to go to other rooms on the Lost, is there? Like, you kind of just want to get to it. And I think Devil Deal is really the objective. So hopefully, Larry Jr. That is actually really neat. Now, I do instantly regret splitting him in half. That was... Ho oh, ho 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 ho! That was an opportunistic brimstone lay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. My god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh. Ah, oh, that was, that was a, um, that was a focus moment. That was, um, that was definitely a focus moment. That was, I kind of realized I went just basically silent there. Ah, oh, okay, on we pop. We've got an okay offense, which is good. Obviously really good. It's kind of key to be able to kill things quick. But bloody hell was that an intense experience there. That was insane. That really, very nearly, I just required zen-like focus mode. I absolutely did. But yeah, having a brimstone laser for stuff like that. Is Mum's Pearl better than a Wealth of Wealth? I guess not, because it attracts soul hearts, right? If I'm not going crazy. Let's kill those as fast as possible. There we go. And any red chests in here? No, there is not. Can red chests even be in there, or am I just kind of, like, assuming things for no real reason? Okay, alright. That worked out nicely. And just wait for him to pop up once again. Okay, and there it is. That room felt a little bit dangerous, but in the end we got it. The blank card, kind of useful if we do get the money for it. Let's not randomly die to the red fire there. Gotta really pay attention to my surroundings when I walk in a room. Okay, I'll take a free room. Definitely. Kill them when it's safe. Kill them when it's safe. Kill them when it's not going to backfire. All right. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, that was, um, that was, that was intense. That was a level of intense I'm not entirely comfortable with. See, I feel like when I truly go for it, basically when I shut the hell up, I can actually play kind of okay. But it's just, oh, it feels a little bit ridiculous at times. It really does. So, we have to go in the big room, which is potentially a problem, but at the same time... Okay, that could have been definitely worse there. That just, honestly, I'm completely cool with that. I just really want to find the item room, get on the boss, and then get the fuck out of here. You are not going to fire a shot at me. Okay, and come on! Oh, that is just... It's like it's trying to make me a powerhouse that is still a glass cannon. It really is. I just want a defensive item so bad. Holy Mantle or Nine Lives would make me the happiest lost alive. It really, really would. Okay, so we're going to go attempt the next boss. And um, this is the point where bosses start to become a little bit dangerous. Especially bosses that have extra people that they summon. Because you've got to keep track of a lot more things. So, this could be a real turning point for the run. But I'm going to, of course, try my best here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. We got rid of his extras. That's the main deal. we got to get rid of his extras. And there we go. Kind of just want to use my bombs as much as possible. Kill him straight away. And there we go. No devil deal? Really? No devil deal. Did that work out for us? Kind of. Honestly, no devil deal? That's kind of depressing. Like, aren't I guaranteed one? Because I'm technically, obviously, not taking damage. I feel like that's a little bit upsetting there, really. Oh, ho, ho, I am sure happy to have Mini Brim here. That would have been horrific. Any red dress? Oh. Oh, I say. I say. I kind of have to. No, I do want to find the item. Well... If nine lives are in there, then that's the best thing to do first. But what are the chances? I gotta try. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh good! Two troll bombs! That's the amount of troll bombs that I really wanted. Let's uh, use the bomb tactic once more. Clear his little guy. And honestly, Chubb really is fine, isn't he? There's nothing that majorly difficult about him. Just depends on what else the spot. Peep! Oh, good. Oh, good, Peep. That's, um... That's really excellent. And pill. So, yeah. This was not really worth it, was it? I think this is it. I think this really is it for us. I don't... Yeah. I just... I knew it was gonna happen. I cannot stand... Both Peep and the bloat just really, like do something to me, and it's not good. It, like, genuinely panics me. Like, imagine beating the bloat as the lost, because that guy is, like, lightning on his trigger finger brimstone. It's unreal how fast he is at killing you. And I know I probably could have taken that boss rush. Definitely I could. Peep is nowhere near as hard as his bloaty friend, but... I just, I kind of got depressed that it just was for nothing, that I was fighting boss after boss for literally not a single item. Well, this is what you call having balls. Um, let's, uh, let's hypercack, guys. What's the worst that could happen? To be fair, it's actually, technically speaking, a really good item to get, because... My damage is through the roof. Constant explosions are useful. Oh, I was like, come on, game. Nine lives? Yes, please. Dingle dangle, dingle all the way. You're going to do your thing. Dingle, dingle, you're. Oh, why did I move into it? I had hypercack. Why do I always do that? Any attack type, which. Oh my god. 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 Oh my, oh my god, 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 okay. Okay. Any attack type which wouldn't hit me 
if it normally, if I just don't move, so shots that split either side of me, I am so good at just deliberately moving into them, I really am. Uh, every death on the Lost is just like a massively bitter pill to swallow, it really is. But, you know, I feel like generally speaking, I am playing a little bit better than my last Lost attempt. The problem lies is that I am too easily panicked in this game because I've just not played it enough. Like, a good example, to be fair, would be something like Dota. Once you've got thousands of hours, which I do, there's nothing that can happen that can surprise you, honestly. There's nothing that makes you go, oh no, oh shit, oh my god, oh my god. But for me, that still happens kind of constantly in Rebirth. And when you're on a character that you cannot make a single mistake, that is a death sentence. So I just, I need that experience. I need to keep playing. And of course, I never have the original Isaac experience, so I am very disadvantaged in that point. Not that I'm making excuses. I am playing terribly at points, like really badly. Every single death so far has been well-deserved. And honestly, I think that's good, because sometimes you do get straight up, that was ball! Kind of like that, honestly. Leg Day Spiders are excellent Lost Slayers, generally speaking. That was... That was a little bit unfair, really. That was just kind of like a straight up fuck you. But, again, I probably should have constantly been moving, should have realized that could have happened and just gone for it. That's, that's really the gist of things. I kind of don't like you, but we get a free tarot card. The Fool is actually useful because it's a, nope, I'm out. And they're kind of convenient when you are playing the loss. Now, I just, I don't want it to fire a shot at me. There we go. Is it just me, or do these fire shots appear, like, invisible for a while, and only then have it in the air? That's really quite bad, Poison Touch, as a first item, but not the end of the world. Really not the end of the world. And, and like, I like a nice little loss session. It kind of grounds you as an Isaac player, doesn't it? I mean, to anyone who has unlocked everything on Hard Loss, you have my sincere respect. Because the patience, dedication, and raw skill that will have taken, even if you get stupid OP, you still got to get to the point where you get stupid OP, unless you pick up the stupid OP item from your first item room. So... <laughs> Oh, that is the award so far for the specialist death of this entire video. Oh, hey, there's a shot there. Um, I want to move into it. I just want to walk into it. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I am so bad at this game. Actually, horrifically bad at this game. But I'm having fun. And I think that's the main deal. Oh, my God. That was horrendous. That was so bad. Okay. Oh, that is... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my giddy spider. Oh, my Jesus on a just receptacle. Jesus on a receptacle. So as long as you keep moving, actually, that seems to be the technique with these leg days. They're not going to leap on you if you are moving around the place. But the problem lies is that I hardly could do any damage to them because I'm constantly moving around over rocks. And eventually I'm going to die. That's really the argument of why power is so good. Because being able to instantly slaughter a room, I mean, it is it is the famous saying. Things that are dead can't kill you. That's like the point. I mean, unless, I guess, zombies, they technically count as things that are dead that are killing you. But generally speaking, if it's dead, it ain't killing you. And that's my golden advice for any Lost Run. Which is why I think Great Offense is better than, for example, Holy Mantle. Though, Nine Lives I still think is the best, because it gives you maximum fuck up -a protection. Like, you, you get to fail nine times. Just a plain room with nothing in. That seems a little bit weird, but that's okay. I am going to go... No, it fired as I went into the... <sighs> Every stupid death brings me one step closer to becoming a better player. That is what I must... That is the mantra from which I must uh, repeat. That is the mantra that will keep me going. The mantra through the night. Every fuck up brings me one step closer to being less terrible at this game. Also, this room. Fuck this room. Right now, this is this is a little bit ridiculous. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I, I feel like I'm basically 
going to do a lost run every time I get a full six hard mode on a character. Potentially not in a video, but I think that's the kind of pacing per attempt. Because I think hammering away at the lost for too long is more than likely going to drive you crazy over anything else. And... That is just kind of lame, isn't it? That is just very much... Yay, thanks, game. I appreciate it. Much rather have a mini brim all up in here, but beggars can't be choosers, and we are indeed beggars, I think, right? Potentially. Die, die, die. No, don't turn into the little headless things. I don't want to deal with them. Aha, I'm killing your friends, zombie. Very nearly walked into that shot again. Very nearly walked into that shot again. But I pulled it off. And are you surprised? Well, you probably are surprised, actually, given given how I've been playing so far. Did I beat the third boss? I can't remember if I beat the third boss or not. Probably. Though, to be fair, that run was largely because Mini Brim was slaughtering foes for me. And, obviously, that was very, very useful. Like, Larry Jr. would have taken a while without Mini Brim. Though, the shot that I lined up was beautiful. Like, absolutely beautiful was that shot. Like, I am taking full credit for that one. It was like laser sniper precision. I guess it's not hard to do when you've got something like that. That's interesting. Okay, Bob's rotten head. I mean, more ways to kill myself. I'm always a fan of that. We may as well pop into the shop as we can for curiosity's sake. Ha! <laughs> yeah, let's take challenge up on the lost guys. I'm pretty sure that'll work out really nicely. And the Duke of Flies. Hopefully, oh, he's not green, so hopefully he has a less ridiculous amount of flies that he's going to summon. That's really the objective. Whoa, boom! Bob's running ahead, doing things, doing work. There we go. That's how we do. Range up. Yeah, best ever. Though, is there really a boss pool item room that item that can really? do masses for a lost run, because I don't think there actually is. That was a little bit close for the proverbial comfort. I also got a little bit too comfortable with those flies, but I knew I could take them. I did. But the rotten head is actually kind of okay, in my opinion, because early on it will nuke a lot of the bosses down. And the real key to the lost is getting to the second boss, getting a devil deal, and praying upon prey that it's nine lives. I think that is the strongest tactic. That makes me happy, definitely, that we are seeing a red chest there. Maybe it's a sign. No, not today. I swear to God, okay, the fire shots, you can't see them till they're already basically killing you. Like, I swear I'm not the only one here. Well, that would have been okay and any other character, wouldn't it? All right, free room here. That's fine. Anything that slowly walks towards you and has no range, you're basically good. Uh, I don't need a key, so a Tinted Rock really is heavily pointless for me. Kill it from a safe distance. There we go. And I guess we will consume thy enemy, which again is really pointless, but still, I'm a go for it. And those guys should die fairly easily. We move up here, get this one, there we go, and then spiders and their erratic movement always scares the hell out of me on this character, but that's okay. Oh, okay, so where the hell are our item room and our boss room? We kind of just pointlessly come down here. I guess having a permanent map would also be deliciously good on the lost as well, because... Obviously, taking the shortest possible path to any given key location is ideal. Sniper worms, not going to give me too much trouble, I don't think. Although, I say that, here's where I die to them. And that was lovely. Please, item room, yay! And a chest filled with goodies. I do like chests that are filled with goodies. Not particularly useful goodies, but goodies nonetheless. Aha! Aha! Why the fuck not at this point, okay? Why not? Let's just chocolate milk it, because, you know, I'm an extra special masochist. And the Lost looks adorable with his cheeks full. Look at that. Actually, I was woodshotting those guys. Maybe it's not as horrible as it first appears. Boom! Yeah, that's not. Okay, maybe chocolate milk isn't that bad. I mean, it, there's probably a lot better items, but still, could definitely be worse. Okay, a room full of just normal fires, and none of them are going to randomly kill me. That is ideal. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I mean, technically speaking, this room is kind of fine, because I can force them all 
to stack up next to this one, do a lot more damage with that, and there is in fact the boss, so that's very much convenient. One for you. Yeah, this damage is actually kind of nice. And we do have Bob's Ronhead for the boss. So I just need to beat this boss, get myself a devil deal, and then this is where the run turns around. Monstro is absolutely fine, actually. I am completely cool with Monstro being a thing. Just jumping towards me now. No, we're doing this. So there we go. Do a nice amount of damage to him is exactly what we're after here. Yeah, each, each chocolate milk shot is actually doing fairly okay damage. I mean, I don't know if it's more damage than just consistent tear barraging would be, but it's certainly enough that I don't feel worse for having taked it. But taked it? For having taked it, guys! Taken it. There we go. So please, Devil Room. Please. We do get it. HP up. That's just... It's not even point. We're taking it. Ugh. Well, we may as well get Sweet Suffering, we may as well get the Book of Belial, we may as well get We Need to Go Deeper, just because I feel like it. To be fair, We Need to Go Deeper might be okay, because of course you get to skip, but that means skipping potential deals with the devil, doesn't it? So, it's not really ideal. Ah, <sighs> this, I don't understand how I've made it to the third floor with literally no, honestly, that beneficial items. I feel like I'm kind of being ripped off here. Well, let's take it, whatever. Book of Revelations. Yay, normally would be a fantastic little find there. But, of course, given what we're playing, not really. Not anywhere near as potentially good. Okay, so free charge shots kill them, which actually makes me really happy. Because these guys normally take a fair beating before they actually go down. So that was nice. Kinda... Oh no! Oh, and I can't bomb out of here, can I? I have to take it. Well, this is going to require some... Actually, I'm gonna buckle the light on this for a start. And do a lot more damage. There we go. So, the plan is focus on one as much... <laughs> Why? I backed myself into a corner and then walked into Little Envy there. Oh, why did I not give myself as maximum space as possible before I popped it? What was I thinking? What was I absolutely thinking? I think what this set of runs has proved, guys, that I am definitely not ready for the Lost. 100%. I am... There's a far ways to go before I either get lucky enough or skilled enough to pull this off. And I think in a game like Isaac, there is only a certain limit to how good your skill can do. Because there are certain situations that are just... That was... How? Like, for example, what is that? What is that? Mum's contacts. Okay. I've never seen that item before. I mean, I did recently unlock it, so that makes sense, but... Interesting. Very much interesting. So how how does it work? Does it literally like freeze freeze? Like the petrifying stone effect? Kinda would like one to hit so I could find out. Seems potentially quite good. Yeah, it is. That's really neat. Can you like chain freeze a boss then? Because against a singular boss, if I get some look ups. Which I certainly could do. That's potentially really useful. Also, there was a red fire staring at me for way too comfortably long there. So, I guess I'm going to go into this room. And get the Anarchist Cookbook! Oh ho! Ho! Oh, what is up? What is up, guys? Who is feeling ballsy? Let's Anarchist Cookbook as the lost. Oh, yeah! No, but I'm going to use the High Priestess to one-shot the boss that we're about to face. That is, that's the main deal here. These things are annoying, but nothing we cannot deal with. And we get the Widow, who gets one-shot literally. That was, that was kind of cool. That was very, very useful. Don't have to deal with Widow's spidery shenanigans, which is ideal. Yay! Oh, that is so useful. We'll go get the Chariot, of course, because it's a very handy card for the Losting. And hope that we get a really good devil deal. Just hope, guys. Put your fingers together and praise be the praise. 
Uh, apart from the one death that made me break down laughing, I don't think I've had any that have been completely really rage. I've had a few that were stupid, but I guess I, I, at least you can see why I died in all my deaths, right? I'm not, I'm not doing that horrifically, at least I hope. Basement 2. That is okay. This room is fine by me. So I need luck and I need shot speed. That's the real deal here. Because if I do that, I feel like this item is actually really abusably good. No point getting the tinted rock and a key for a chest. I will accept that. I don't have the money for a shop anyway. And the freeze, the freeze, the freeze. Yeah, it really can be changed. So that's very neat. And we basically just got extra money from that. So that's useful. I'm going to go in the big room because everything is always off a big room. And indeed it was. Lots of flies coming at me. Should be okay. Just got to keep moving, keep using my space, keep being the Isaac player I know I can be. Here we go. Lovely. God, The Lost is such a different experience, isn't it? It really is. And what I like about it is I bet you guys are still on the edge of your seat while I'm doing this as well, which is really nice. Oh, God, really? The mulligan? I don't... It's not good. It's just not. Have I had a single? I feel like the Brimstone run was the only real chance I've had so far in terms of item value. So... And I did kind of okay on that, really. I mean, the run that I got to... Mum's heart, I was kind of powerful. I also did have nine lives, so that obviously did help. The Cursed Skull. Somehow, guys, right, I am not going to do that. I will, of course, keep the chariot. And... Ooh, which one, which one? This one! Good call by me. Good call. Can I just please get the items? That was ridiculous. And... Ah, that is literally... Useless on the lot. Guys, I'm going to die in order to generate some money. I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, Mum's Contact, very, very powerful. Like, if I get enough luck, then... Oh, that is actually better. That is actually really better. If I get enough luck that I can put... There's options as well. A very nice item for any aspiring Lost player. Gonna bomb this so we get at least two cut. Wow, we got way more than two. That's okay because we can buy this and then deposit the other three in because I'm probably not gonna be needing them. And we're gonna go take the boss. We do have to get to the boss, which means defeating Mr. Leg Day Spider over here. And we did get him, so that's lovely. And the actual the blue flies, to be fair, are kind of okay. Now we do have a fire dude to deal with. He went down quite easily. Alright, so... Please. Please. And we did quite a nice amount of damage to him with that chariot. And there we get the freeze. Oh! That felt a little bit too close, I will admit. That felt really a little bit too close. The freeze shot there, gonna bring it home. And a divine heart, which normally, you know, eh, I guess we'll take the small damage up. And please. Potentially, it's kind of like half of nine lives. Oh man, that is a little bit of a tease, isn't it, as far as things goes? Range up, that's kind of convenient, and we are totally good to move on. I'm going to take it just so I feel a little bit better about it, but that was... Hmm. The video is going to end when this run does, because I think this is my last proper shot at this. And that's kind of okay. They should die before they get to me. He did freeze, which was convenient, actually, like really convenient. And down they go, and an extra key, which is always nice. There's options is actually a really good item on the loft because, of course, it means that you're more likely to get something genuinely useful out of a boss instead of HP up. And, of course, the meat isn't the biggest damage up in the world, but it's still something I can use, and that's really the key here. No red chess, no bueno. Ooh, we have the boss already. That kind of tempts me. That does kind of tempt me, but... I think the item room tempts me more. I think that's going to be an easier proposition for us here. We do have a get out of jail free card in the bomb that we're rocking here because it means that we can... Ooh, 
Do I want the Liberty Cap over It Feels Lucky? I don't actually know which one of those would be the correct thing to take in this situation. This isn't awful, because they are all together. We've got a lot of space to dodge. I think we can probably pull this room off. Gonna switch to the Liberty Cap. I just, I don't know, I feel like it makes more sense. Although, does the Rusted Key just make my luck go up in general? Because I don't think it does. Because obviously I would take that for Mum's Contact, but I don't think that's how it works, so I'm not entirely too bothered about going for that. And there's not really that many pills that can help me as the Lost. Obviously, Look Up Pill is the dynamite right now, but generally speaking, there ain't much going on. And down he goes as well. So, range up again. That's at least something I can get some use out of. Thanks, Curse of the Maze. Really, really appreciate that. And we have our item room. No jumpers or anything I need to be especially wary about, but I would like to kill the shooters before they start really being a problem. Uh, oh, calm. So we have the item room. We have the boss room. So we can kind of just go for this. And we get... <sighs> I feel like that's... It's just building suspense because... Well, this is not helpful, is it? Like, normally, I'd be really happy with that, but... I mean, at most, it's gonna generate us the odd key. Yay. So, we gotta take the boss. We got Anarchist Cookbook, which I feel like I shouldn't press, but at the same time, I kinda really want to. I'm also gonna blow up all of these, just in case of a trap door. And there is not one. Well, into the breach I go, guys. Into the breach I go. Huh. Oh. I'm actually okay with the dark one. Like, he's not that ridiculous. I just gotta be on it. I just really gotta be on it! <laughs> oh, why? What the dante clan? Where's Guppy Scholar? Guppy Scholar? No? Okay. Oh, just gotta be on it. To be fair, I'm used to him making it dark and then charging, so that caught me completely by surprise. But god damn it, that was... Ah, uh, guys, the lost, I don't think, quite for me yet. But we tried. We did try. I, I tried my best, and it was a massive failure. Oh, you know... I'm gonna restart until I get an item room next to spawn, and then I'm gonna look at it, and then I'm gonna be depressed. Are we... An out of body. What? What is the. What? My name has been Rage. I will see you next time. Like if you enjoyed my suffering, I guess. How we'd. Mine. That happened last time, didn't it? I got through 13 Lostra. I have no idea. Either way, fuck my life. <laughs> I will see you next time. I am sorry for being so terrible at this game. Subscribe for more. Oh, good. Why?